now we have to start TCP and checking so using we have to see the TCP and checking using the Wireshark so in TCP and check first the sin request will be sent and then the sin plus ACK and then again ACK so we, we are going to see this all using Wireshark so first let us apply a filter on TCP so let us see the packet 498 in that list is a flag description in flag description you can see that the same flag is set so in next packet you can see that there will be an acknowledgement for that same flag you see ACK is set and ACK is set ACK plus acknowledgement so in next flag you can see that there is an acknowledgement for the request Hence, the TCP and checking has been done in this three way and checking. Now we are going to snip the modal user account and password using the Wireshark. So this is the Wireshark window. So first thing to do in this is select the interface. So go into capture option, select the real tech Ethernet interface. So as you can see, some packets will be loaded. Different types of packets from different addresses. So now let's open the Moodle page. So I'll enter my username and password in this. My username is 2016 with two and password is something xxxx. So as I click on login, the login will be successful. So here you can see that. So now let's snip this part username and password using the Wireshark. So now let's apply the first filter here. The filter will be HTTP. So as I click on HTTP, all the packets regarding using protocol HTTP will be displayed. So here you can see that. Just observe the first packet. It will give the information of the page index or PHP of the of our modal page. And you can also that it is URL encoded. So you have to first click on the HTTP, you can see all the information regarding it about a host IP address, content length and now uh, if you have to see uh, the username and password, click on the HTML URL form encoded. Just click on it and you can see form item username is equal to ID and value username and val uh, also value are entered and even my password has been shown so here you can how you have to snip the user account password